Okay. Oh, yeah. The gonna wear out. Okay. should be detached. Okay, Well, I, I started out with, uh... Oh, yeah, I know. The I'm telling you the things there for. It was discharged on the yeah, 24th, and I want to go back in the office. I've been in the office. But you know how some people can diagnose yourself? I mean, you know your own body, so I've never been wrong. So I knew my lymphoma was back or something was, was in me. Anyway, I was diagnosed with AML. And I just found out again from another program yesterday that after you take so many drugs that they give you when you have non Hodgkin's lymphoma, two or three years later, you get le leukemia. I said, well, thank you. You know, I have an extra gift. <laughs> but uh, I was at risk big time. I mean, I was about to be sent to the hospital because my, my INR, my blood levels was 1.0. And he says, I don't have any idea what's holding you up, young lady. So I came one day here, or I had, no, I had a little bit of the water. Mm -hmm. I felt right away. I felt something just, as soon as it hit my lips and went down. I was in pain when I came here. And I just straightened up and shook it off. And then Comadre Carmen gives me some more and some more. And I said, man, I'm, I'm flying high. So I went down to the doctor the fall, two days after that. It was 1.3. So last week when I went, I had been going two days a week. It was 2.4. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. And, and no, no, when I went to the 1. Point, uh, 1. 1.3, he says, you have a glow on you. I mean, there's something about you. I said, look, in, look no, well, he's, he's Jewish. And he, I have him saying, ay chihuahuas. What's wrong? What have, what have you done? I said, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I told him about the water. No, you never tell. <laughs> I'm a Catholic, but you know, <laughs> it happened. I don't mind having a baby. Sarah? No, I, I don't know. No, but you <laughs> look really good because when I met you, you started a can and then you got rid of that. Yeah. And I did have myeloma here, and I was just telling her it's like you at my house or the, or the time before that. Like, oh, it's, right. going. it's going away. It's and I've been right. putting oh, steroid oh. ointment and. Mm -hmm. Cherry's oil from Jamaica yeah, and Olive Vera and yeah. you name it. And then I remember what Comadre Carmen said that she how she brushes her teeth. Uh, Saturday after we y'all left from the house, remember the how the air the fan was on, mm -hmm. we put the air on. I started getting a sore throat. I said, well, I'm gonna, after when I brush my teeth, I'm gonna mm, squish, squish, squish. It's gone. Sunday we went to the groceries. And everything I wanted from the refrigerator part was on this side. And we get, we get, no, before we left, I said, that gummit, I said, my bones are cold. Man, talk about a pain. I said, I don't feel like taking a shower right now. I just got the spray bottle. Oh, gone. That's my friend first came. And uh, it's a miracle. I mean, thank you, Jesus. And what is the AMA or what is that? What is Acute Malloy Leukemia. It's in the early stages. There is BMLL, which is usually, uh, yeah. And in fact, we just found out one of his cousins because we're going to this Garza reunion, and he has that because he has ancient orange. And I said, I'm glad I have the A and you have the C, you know. But he's prepared to die. I said, no way. So we're going to work on him next time. And I did have three people coming and. Yes, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna invent something for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna invent